D-Strike D authentication watch. So, <laughs> in this video, we're going to talk about this watch. So, with this watch, we're going to go ahead and try and de authenticate this particular Ubuntu machine that I have connected to my Wi Fi router in the other room just beside. So, I am connected with this Alpha card right here, as you see. So, that is what the connection is done through. It is already connected, and this is the watch I'm going to use to de authenticate. Okay, so let's just check out what is it that I have right here. So, first of all, what we have right here. Is a Ubuntu version of Linux. I'm already running it. It's in my own language, and as you can see, I am. Uh, it says cable as local. Well, basically that means that the wired connection is turned off. Okay, so you can see that I'm connected to a particular network called HEST, which is a Danish word for a horse. It hest, anyways. Okay, so we can also all see that I can pick other different kind of networks here and the different kind of networks in my vicinity. I am connected to the one called HEST, which is the one that I am allowed to try to hack. So, I'm not doing anything legal in this video, I'm basically just trying out the power of the Dioth watch. So, I think we should go ahead and check out the Dioth watch. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it on by holding the actual power button just for a second or two. And you should be able to see it turn on. I cannot see anything. Just press it once. There we go. <laughs> so now it's turning on. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and record this video in a different way on my phone. And the format will change a bit, but you will be able to see what I'm doing on the actual the authentication watch. Okay. Okay. So you can see that the watch is running and it's saying scan, select, attack, packet monitor and clock. So Let's go ahead and scan. So we're going to press the button right there and you can go up and down in the menu. As you can see, I also turned up the antenna. So I will press scan right now. And what we're going to scan for is just APs. So that's access point. Now we can see the watch is actually doing its work. It is scanning and we found three APs. Let's just say done for now. And then let's go back let's go to select pick an ap and pick the one that i'm connected to there we go and go back one more time and now we can go back again and we can pick the one called attack i'm gonna pick the one called attack now the attack i'm gonna go ahead and do is called the deauth attack so basically while this is running I'm going to go back to the other screen I have so you can see how it's going. So let's go ahead and press the auth. I will press start. When I press start, this video will stop and you will see me go back to the actual recording where we'll check out how the actual the authentication attack is going. So pressing start, as you can see, and it's broadcasting. All right, so we're back again and you can see that the watch is still doing an actual the authentication attack you know it's small now but we're gonna go ahead and check out and we can see that the network connection is gone I have no more instant connection on my computer through Wi-Fi it is completely dead and there is nothing much we can do about it right now also just to bear in mind that we can also just go ahead and check out that I now that I stopped the attack and I don't know if you can see that on the screen, but just for you to see, it says start, which means it's stopped. So it doesn't seem that I'm reconnected back already. The router probably is a bit confused and goes in Wi-Fi now. Pick the network and pick the one right there and connect to it again. And hopefully I will get back on. Anyways, I don't know what it's done to my router. Well, there we go, I'm back on. And we can see that by performing the speed test right here on the speedtest.net that I'm actually back on on the internet. So this watch is pretty okay. So we can just see it right now that the connection is going. Not with the fastest of connections, but it's for Wi-Fi, so 
who cares, right? Okay, so I think that kind of proves the point that this watch is great, you know, you can do many things with it, you can de-authenticate your, uh, yourself, <laughs> which I did, you can de-authenticate authenticate others, you can disrupt the network, and basically that's gonna be the way to go for you. So I really hope that you learned something for this video. If you wanna stay hanging a bit, I'm gonna show you just now after this particular demonstration that I'm where you can buy the watch, what it cost, and so on. All right, so let's look at the watch. So the watch is called the D-Strike watch. We can go ahead and check it out in the browser. Let's go to the Google, the Google, right? And D-Strike, the author watch, you know? And then pick dstrike.com. I ordered mine from the .com address, so I got it shipped to Denmark and it costed a bit. You can buy a cheap one right here for $39. Let's go ahead and check out the products. On the product side, you can see you got different kind of D-Strike authenticators, D-authenticators, sorry. Uh, it got the one called Monster, not really sure what that is. The Mini, and it got some extra omnidirectional antenna you can go ahead and buy if that is something you would like to do. You can also buy the directional Wi-Fi antenna. So the difference between the omnidirectional and directional antenna is that the omnidirectional is, is, is all around you, right? and the directional is, is more like in one particular direction. So if you are sitting and you have a clear view of the building, of the Wi-Fi router or something like that, something like that, right? Then you should definitely use the directional antenna. Now, you also have the one called D-Strike, the author watch of the first version. You've got the version three and you got the version four. The other page, you will see other kind of things uh, but it's just smaller versions and stuff like that. So what you're gonna go ahead and check out is that I have the watch here called the Author Watch version three, and there's a version four out right now. So I'm gonna talk about version three and then briefly talk about version four afterwards. All right, so the version three I bought for $99 when it came out. It is down now to $69, probably just a product uh, mashup they have, they want to sell the rest of it, it's like, like I said, storage. <clears throat> you can go ahead and check out the video, and it's a pretty neat little watch, you know, it doesn't, it's, it, it comes in a small box like uh, this, you know, it's, uh, and then inside the box you're gonna get a QR code with some discount stuff I can use, and yeah, anyways, <clears throat> the watch itself is more powerful than the other versions of the watches. The fourth version has the same antenna, so that's not really anything different there. But the version two and one and the others, they have a weaker antenna, and this particular antenna here is pretty damn powerful, let's say. I think it's up to 200 meters or something like that. So it's a 2.4 gigahertz frequency, you know, it's still no support for 5G, which is, yeah, I don't know if that is something we should definitely talk about, but you know, the D author is a very beautiful nifty tool. Talking about the version four, just to top up in the video, it is here for, of course, the IR version, and you get a small, you know, um, it looks like you got a small remote. I don't know what that is for, infrared something. I have literally no idea, but maybe they will show that at some point where the two versions, the, you control three different scripts using three buttons, the IR control, Okay, so the IR version, you control control 21 different docky scripts. Basically, if you want to put the, the actual watch in, uh, hook that up to a computer, it is possible if you do that, you know, through USB. Also, on the version 4, they put on a mini SD, mini SD card slot, so you can access it in certain ways, and also some more buttons you for the, the, the docky, the small uh, evil USB. Uh, they also optimized uh, the battery in a way, so it kind of used less power. I heard, I'm not really sure what it is exactly they use less power, but it's definitely something you should take into consideration for the safety 30 bucks, or you will buy the one that I have, or buy the new one, you know, it's, eh, you don't really know what. But I, I recommend this watch for reconnaissance for red teaming. It's a small thing you have in your arm wrist. It really works and I really love it. So I want to wrap up this video by saying that I really hope you learned something today, you know, the actual demonstration of how powerful the D-Auth watch can be. And while we look 
at how this is connected. I will just take my watch right now, as you can see, and just, you know, pay attention to the actual connection right here, right? So I'm going to scan. I'm going to scan for APs. And it found some. Go back again. Select the AP that I'm connected to called Hest. Go back one more time. I'm going to select attack. The auth, and I started the actual attack right now, and you can see the connection is disrupting. It is not really, doesn't look good. So it's going back and forth and back and forth, and depending on, and there we go, I'm off the internet.